Hey guys, it's Logan Freeman, and this is the Live Free Investors Podcast. I interview investors and business owners who share investment advice so you too can live free. Today, I'm talking to Matt Moylan. Matt, in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Logan, hey man, thanks for having me on. Uh, again, my name is Matt Moylan. I work for a company called Thomas McGee. We're based out of Kansas City, and more nationally, we're recognized as a risk strategies company. So what I do is I help high income earners and real estate investors create customized insurance plans. And more or less, we, we look at all their assets. We look at where we can save money, but also mitigate risks and liabilities from their portfolio. Absolutely. And, you know, I'll tell you guys, Matt, there's a lot of our insurance and there's it, you know, when I think about insurance, I think about, um, you know, sometimes lenders, I think about, gasoline sometimes it can be a commodity right but <laughs> Very much. i want you to i want you to talk to how you have been able to set yourself apart in this industry because you're building your own niche online and helping my clients your clients a lot of real estate investors um kind of you know think through this in a different way so talk to us a little bit about that yeah so uh, my passion honestly stems from growing up both my parents are teachers so yeah. Uh, and I actually got my education degree. So having that you know, drive to teach and educate and, and be that valued resource yep. uh, in someone's life is, is something that has just been ingrained in me since day one. Yeah. Um, so since honestly I started in insurance, you know, that has been my motive, that's been my passion. And as I've grown, more knowledgeable about the world and obviously my, my industry and then creating a couple of niches for myself, you know, finding and, and seeing those specific ways on how I can help mm -hmm. and also where that reoccurring lack of knowledge is, is where I can basically create that wedge and that difference between, you know, Logan, your current, you know, personal broker, but also the, the broker that your firm uses yeah. and, and, you know, the company and, the massive company, you know, that I work for risk strategies, we have, you know, offices all the way across the nation internationally, yep. we can help, but also, you know, very niche specific itemizations. So we have a real estate sector of our business, for example. So anything real estate ever that I need, I can go directly to those guys, which again, just adds to that portfolio of how I can be valued as a different resource than, Oh yeah, he's our insurance guy. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a great answer. And uh, Matt is a, a part of a LinkedIn tribe here in the Kansas City, Missouri area that I would say is going to be the next kind of generation leaders. And if I had to call out my buddy, Eric Huey with his, his podcast, I think you might, you might know Eric, maybe. Yeah, I'm actually my episodes coming out here in a few weeks. There we go. Or so maybe it's already depending on when we launch. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's a there's kind of a new group, I would say of, of folks doing business differently. Uh, and a lot of it's stemming from online and not just being, you know, the, the handshakes and, and taking people out to lunch and, and doing all of that. That's a part of it, right? But a big part of it is, is being able to scale your business across, you know, multiple states. And, and one thing I really admire about you is that you are a lifelong learner and you go and implement as well. I'm watching it happen. I know the same people, you know, a lot of them and, and I watch what you're doing. So I just want to acknowledge you for that and commend you for that, man. So I got to ask, what's the, what's the best thing about being a hunter and an entrepreneur? Yeah. So I would say you kind of already touched on it. I can always learn more. Yeah. Right? I can always uh, help someone differently. I can always, you know, help them in a more specific way. Um, I think what it really boils down to is, personal development on my side, right? Yeah. Because the smarter I am, the more, I know Scott Haven says this a lot, I'm a mile wide and an inch deep, right? The more I can know about stuff in general or different industries or sure. parts of real estate, the better I can help my clients. Yeah. Because as soon as you ask a question and I don't know, perfect. I can prove to you that I have the resources that I've been talking about. Yeah. And so it's, it's not necessarily a, oh, I need to know everything. It's a, it's, I want to be a resource and let me prove that to you. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not really an expert at anything. I, what I, what I'm able to do is, is find the, the answers for somebody really quickly, you know, yeah. 
and, and it's important to have those subject matter experts on your team and wherever you you work at but it's not necessarily your job to be an expert at every single thing i know what i'm an expert at and it's not knowing every single thing about my business because if i did I wouldn't be able to do what I'm able to do. So uh, that's, a, that's a great answer, man. There's a lot of stuff going on in the economy, in the social world. There's a lot of things going on in Kansas City, just nationwide. So, in, you know, keeping up with all those current trends, opportunities, changes, those can be a challenge. So I'm curious how you stay up to date. Yeah. So, you know, just through our company, you know, we, we have a couple different sales calls every month. So where, you know, again, furthering that education, that knowledge. Yep of what are both the coasts doing? What are, you know, down South in Texas and, and everywhere in between, uh, because we are licensed in all 50 states and I do business currently in probably 30 to 35 of them, I need to have a lot of different resources yeah. and, and, you know, pools to, to jump into. So, um, you know, having those easily accessible items at, at my fingertips, not only monthly, but, you know, I, I, I have personal relationships with every one of those key leaders, if sure. you will, uh, where I can say, Hey, I need this, or, Hey, I have this opportunity, or, you know, I just received a referral from someone who they have this type of asset. Help me. What, what can I, what can I send them? How, how can we show them our value mm -hmm. and not just me? How can we show our value? Yeah. I love that. You know, you taking this, you know, one thing I could tell you, you know, about your business is that you truly do care. And, it, you know, when people say, well, you're not in it for, you can't let people think that you're in it for yourself. Ultimately, you know, in business, you're in it to, to provide for your family and you're in it for yourself, but there's a way that you can make people feel. And uh, you really do make people feel like they're in it for you, you know, them. So I just want to, I want to mention that. Um, I'm curious, what's the best advice that you've ever received? Uh, I'll give you kind of two answers. Uh, one is never stop learning, right? So mm -hmm. I, that's kind of a re recurring theme throughout my life. Sure. Uh, never stop learning. And then this is the second one is actually from my dad growing up. I think we were nine or 10. He was our, our baseball coach and he had this little wood plaque and he wrote, he's big, uh, big on quotes and, yeah. and memos of, you know, every time we in and out the dugout, touch this. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> at all either. I, I don't yeah. love quotes or anything. Absolutely. So uh, it's short and sweet to the point, never let up, never give up. There we go. So I love that. Yeah. Never stop learning and never let up, never give up. That's fantastic, man. This is your opportunity to promote somebody to the show. It's a social show. It's my goal to get you elevated uh, into my network. And so I want you to call out a few people um, like yourself that should be on the Live Free Investors podcast. Yeah. So listening to all the episodes and, and your um, people that you typically have on. There's two people that come, you know, top of mind. One of them is actually one of my clients. Uh, his name's Hong Vu. Okay. So I'm, I'm more than happy to make that uh, introduction to you. I think he'd be, be a really good uh, guest on your show. Second one is a good friend of both of ours that I was surprised isn't on yeah. or hasn't been on the show. Uh, Andy Talbert. All right. So we'll get both, both of those folks on there. I'll need an intro to Hong and uh, I'll reach out to to Andy and call him out on our post next week or the week after. Awesome. So this is the most important question of the podcast that I did not prep you for, but if you have listened to other episodes, it's no surprise. It's my brand. It's what I try to live out on a regular basis. It's all about living free. So what's your best advice on how to live free on a regular basis? Yeah, I would say living balanced. Mm. So, you know, not teeter tottering all work or all personal you know, having that balanced mentality in, in all, all phases of life. So that's interesting because a lot of folks will say that there is no balance. If you've read Gary Keller's The One Thing, which is somewhere over there, Great book. Usually, I usually have it down here. You know what he talks about in balance in there is there is no balance. It's more of a, a counterbalance. So, um, you know, I think that that's probably what you're, you're getting, you're referring to is, is that counterbalance piece of, understanding that there is work, there is life, they're probably more commingled than you think, but you physically and mentally need to make sure that you're filling both of those cups up, right? And, you know, one might be up at some time, but the other one might be up at the other time. And, and for me, I always have to make sure that my faith, family, fitness, and my future are taken care of in that order. And that's the only way that I know about how to balance anything is to make yeah. sure that 
I'm focused on those four core values. Talk to me about what you mean about balance and, and Gary Keller's thoughts about counterbalance. Yeah, so I'm a big fan of that book. Uh, I read it for the first time earlier this year. And awesome. it kind of cleared my mind, right? Yeah. And then gave me a new perspective on is balance real? And, and how do you implement that if it is re- real? Yep. Um, you know, for me, balance is what you want it to be, right? So if you, if there's certain weeks where your balance is 90% work, 10% play, hey man, that, that's balance. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Make sure that you're balanced. Other weeks, if you just need to take a week off, go on vacation, spend some time at home, maybe just, you know, spend some time alone. Yep. That's your balance. Balance is not a recurring thing balance is something it's an idea in my mind balance is an idea that wavers day to day yeah and as, as long as you feel that balance that you're okay and and the last x amount of time you feel okay then you're balanced mm-hmm. that's a great way to put it man matt thank you so much guys this is logan freeman with the live free investor podcast where investors business owners and entrepreneurs share advice so you too can live free for more insights and ideas on how you can live free, connect and message with myself and with Matt today on LinkedIn. Matt, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Logan. Appreciate it. Until next time, guys, live free.